besides being two of the most memorable actors in action movies. Jean-Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal are two powerful men who have amassed immense fortunes in their careers. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video you're going to see a fierce battle between Jean-Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal. So, let's fight! Exaggerated Luxuries The two bullies have plenty of money to spend on whatever they want, but which one leads the most sophisticated lifestyle? Steven Seagal, for example, has been seen wearing beautiful watches, such as Luminox Men's Field $900 Luminox Recon Point Man $1000 Louis Monet Jules Verne $20,000 and even a Rolex GMT Master II, one of Rolex's most iconic and recognizable watches, is highly prized among watch collectors and enthusiasts of the brand. And it's no wonder that its price can reach over $80,000. When traveling, the actor usually uses private jets, such as the Gulfstream G550, one of the safest and best-performing private jets in the world, capable of reaching speeds close to the speed of sound. The interior of the jet is very comfortable and luxurious and can hold up to 19 passengers depending on the configuration adopted. And to enjoy all this luxury, it is estimated that it is necessary to pay about $12,000 for each hour of flight. Jean-Claude Van Damme, on the other hand, seems to be living a very comfortable life these days. Proof of this is that on his social media the actor always posts pictures enjoying his life in different places around the world, relishing from all the luxury and comfort he is entitled to. He has even posted records aboard large yachts, as well as while enjoying private jets on all his trips, a luxury that must surely cost him tens or perhaps hundreds of thousands of dollars. Considering that both stars spend a lot of money, points for both of them. Most Expensive Property When it comes to good places to live, both fighters don't skimp on comfort. But who owns the most valuable property? Starting with Steven Seagal. The star once owned a large 5,300-acre ranch in the town of Montague, which is located in a remote part of Siskiyou County in Northern California. Known as Lava Lakes Nature Preserve, the property has seven beautiful lakes, which provide incredible views of nature and the mountains, as well as being great for fishing and boating. The main mansion resembles a log cabin with about 14,000 square feet and is a true rustic retreat for comfortable and peaceful living away from the city. The living room has stone floors and wood-paneled walls, as well as high ceilings, views of a lake, and a couple of taxidermy bears. The chef's kitchen has large counters, and the dining room connects to a marquee. There is also another dining area, 10 luxurious bathrooms, and 9 charming bedrooms, with a suite integrating a private deck. A detail about this property is that it also has two other houses, which are equally cozy for guests and staff to lodge in. Steven Seagal sold the property in 2022 for $7 million, although he has previously listed the place for as much as $12 million. Jean-Claude Van Damme is not far behind. He once lived in the luxurious One Wall Center condominium, located in Vancouver, one of Canada's largest cities. Because of real estate websites and brokers, it is possible to see that the actor's apartment displays a lot of luxury and modernity. In the living room we find a beautiful space, where comfortable sofas are arranged in a very pleasant environment, besides having an exclusive bar so that Jean can receive his most intimate guests and serve some good wine. The residence also features another simpler room with very luxurious furniture for the guests to sit in. The room is combined with the dining room, where exquisite furniture and a beautiful view of the city are spread out, as well as a fireplace for the colder days. Arriving in the kitchen you can see that it is a beautiful space, where the residents can cook quietly in an area very well equipped to meet all the actor's needs. On the more intimate side, the house contains five very comfortable guest rooms and five private bathrooms, one for each room. But it is in the master suite that we can see all the refinement demanded by Van Damme. The house's master bedroom has a huge closet that is used to store all of its host's belongings. In addition to a beautiful, well-equipped, and comfortable space, the room is graced with a cozy fireplace and a wonderful view of the city and the surrounding mountains, making it even more special. And as part of being so exclusive, the room still has a luxurious bathroom made of gold-veined ivory, so it serves utility and elegance to anyone since it's well-equipped and very complete. 
and to acquire this palace in one of the city's most luxurious condominiums, Van Damme had to fork out about $9 million. Considering the value of real estate, Van Damme wins this round. Point for him. Cars. Both actors love to enjoy beautiful vehicles on a daily basis, but which of them owns the most luxurious vehicles? Van Damme, for example, has already posted a photo driving a Range Rover, a robust SUV that is ideal for everyday use. The interior of the vehicle offers plenty of space and comfort, and it is no wonder that it can cost upwards of $90,000. During an event, Jean-Claude Van Damme has already shown up riding a beautiful Lamborghini Gallardo, a super sports car capable of attracting a lot of attention wherever it goes. And to give you an idea of the price, you can find vehicles of this model costing around $210,000. The actor has also posted several pictures on social media with his Bentley Continental Convertible, a rather sophisticated luxury sedan. The interior of the vehicle is very refined and made entirely of top-quality materials. And it is no wonder that the newest vehicles of this model can reach over $230,000. Going even more expensive, he has also posted a photo with a Ferrari 458 Italia, a breathtaking car considered a great icon of the Italian luxury car manufacturer. And to own this amazing car, you may need to cash out around $250,000. From the same brand, he also owns a Ferrari California, a supercar made for those who like luxury and speed. The vehicle is equipped with a V8 engine capable of topping 193 miles per hour, which is perhaps why its price can reach the figure of $300,000. The most expensive vehicle Jean-Claude Van Damme has ever been seen in is a beautiful Rolls-Royce Dom convertible, an extremely luxurious vehicle capable of offering the comfort and refinement of the highest quality standards. And to give you an idea of the price, you can find vehicles of this model priced well over $400,000. And we cannot fail to mention that Jean-Claude Van Damme is also passionate about motorcycles and owns a few little toys of his own that must be worth a lot of money. Steven Seagal, on the other hand, has been seen with various vehicles, such as $12,000 Ducati Monster, a $15,000 Jeep Wrangler from the 1990s, $45,000 Chevrolet 3100, Ford Mustang Mach 1 which costs around $52,000, the actor was also seen getting out of a Mercedes-Benz Vito, a sophisticated mid-size van, which is ideal for longer trips for its practicality, having a huge internal space for passenger comfort, whose price is around $60,000. Steven Seagal was also spotted getting into a GMC Yukon, a huge car ideal for those who want to prioritize comfort and safety. The interior of the vehicle has a modern dashboard and is very spacious, accommodating up to seven passengers. And to get an idea of the price, the newest vehicles of this car can cost more than $70,000. Another car the actor has already driven is a Cadillac Escalade, a huge car capable of offering a lot of comfort and safety to all its passengers. And to get an idea of the price, depending on the model, it can cost upwards of $95,000. He has also been seen getting out of a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, one of the most luxurious and technologically advanced cars made by the German manufacturer. Inside, the S-Class offers a large and comfortable space, with ergonomic seats, and is equipped with advanced safety technologies. And to give you an idea of the price, the latest models of this car can exceed $110,000. The most expensive car Steven Seagal was seen using was a luxurious Rolls-Royce Phantom, a super sleek large sedan from the famous Rolls-Royce luxury car brand. The interior of the vehicle has an impeccable finish, with first-class materials that bring a lot of sophistication to the environment. And to own such a car, you may need to spend more than $400,000. Steven Seagal has also been seen with a storm vehicle from the Strike Group, an all-electric armored and multifunctional car for military purposes, which has great security technologies. And if Steve Seagal really does own this machine, he has likely shelled out a few hundred thousand dollars. As both actors own very luxurious vehicles, we'll consider this round a draw. Point for both of them. Real Estate Portfolio Both actors have lived in many properties over the years, but who has the most impressive real estate portfolio? Steven Seagal, for example, once owned an 8,000-square-foot colonial mansion on a sprawling 12-acre estate in the U.S. state of Tennessee. 
According to sources, Steven Seagal sold the house for a reported $880,000, although he bought it in 2005 for $1.5 million. He has also owned a contemporary mansion on top of a mountain range in the Carefree Ranch condominium in the U.S. state of Arizona. The mansion is over 8,900 square feet and was built in 2001, with stone walls with copper details and bulletproof glass panels. Upon entering, one can notice the sophistication and the beautiful skylights that bring natural light into the interior, while the living room has large windows and a modern fireplace. The kitchen, on the other hand, exudes elegance with beautiful cabinets, a chef's island for preparing daily meals, and stainless steel appliances, especially the incredible six-burner stove. There is also a charming dining room and a home theater with custom seating, which has a state-of-the-art projection system. The house also has four cozy bedrooms, each with its own bathroom, and in the case of the master suite, the bathroom comes with a whirlpool tub, as well as an elegant dressing table and doors with views of a deck. You could say that this house offered all the amenities that a celebrity deserves for a life of luxury and comfort, blending modern and rustic design. This property also includes a 600-square-foot guest house, which features a living room, a compact kitchen, and a cozy bedroom for visitors. Going outside, the mansion is situated on a hillside, which offers stunning views from almost every point, and the landscape grounds are about 12 acres in size. The site also boasts beautiful wooded gardens, which create a pleasant atmosphere to live in, as well as having an elegant infinity edge pool, facing lovely views of the region, and a modern staircase leading to a private spa environment, ideal for relaxing at any time of the day. There are also terraces surrounding the mansion, a shaded courtyard with statues, and incredible desert mountain views. According to media reports, Steven Seagal paid $3,500,000 for the mansion and has sold it in recent years for $3,550,000. It is speculated that the actor still owns other properties, such as a ranch in Colorado, a residence in Louisiana, and another property in Arizona at Leisure World. Van Damme is not far behind. He once owned a luxurious paradise mansion in the Marina del Rey neighborhood of Los Angeles. It is a refined property that has even been sought after by several artists, having already belonged to the famous rapper and comedian Ice Cube. Although we do not know much detailed information about the place, it is possible to see that the actor did not leave out modernity and comfort when it came to his residence. Through real estate records, it was possible to see that there is a living room in classic Indian style, another dining room that mixes Van Damme's favorite styles, and a well-equipped kitchen to meet his needs. This mansion with six complete bedrooms and 11 private bathrooms spread over its two stories still has a unique elevator that connects its rooms. Besides the workrooms, the house also has a wine cellar for the actor to store his favorite wines, a dynamic and very comfortable movie room, and a luxurious penthouse for parties and meetings with his friends. And, in order to relax, the mansion's balconies provide a beautiful view while one can take a break from their busy routine. And according to some sources, this beautiful mansion is speculated to have cost the star something around $8 million. And for having a more expensive and luxurious property, Van Damme wins this round. Point for him! Net worth! There's no doubt that both actors have made a lot of money during their careers. But which one has the highest net worth? Seagal, for example, has amassed a huge net worth. Most of his fortune undoubtedly came from his performances in action movies of the 1980s and 1990s, which were responsible for him becoming a world-famous figure. The amount he received for each performance varied greatly according to the film's box office results and how well-known his name was in the film industry. Although there is little information on how much Steven Seagal was paid for each performance, some sources estimate that his highest salary was in Under Siege 2, Dark Territory. This is because it was the second part of the most successful film of his career, 1990's Under Siege, in which he broke box office records and was very profitable. And it is no wonder that some sources estimate that the actor may have received as much as $7 million for his performance. A very high figure by the standards of the time, but one that is now considered low compared to what Hollywood actors are paid. And don't forget that Seagal has other sources of income. One of these is his music career, as he is a talented guitarist and has released several albums, such as Mojo Priest and The Crystal Cave Sessions. 
As an entrepreneur, it is speculated that he has invested in several businesses, such as an oil farm, the creation of a men's clothing line, and a cigarette brand. Martial arts is another source of Stephen's income. Because he is a renowned fighter, he has offered several training courses and workshops for other practitioners and has released several books on the subject. And because he is one of the most famous action movie actors of his generation, he has also made a good living advertising for some companies, such as Lightning Bulk Energy Drinks. Because he is a supporter of the Russian government and a great admirer of Vladimir Putin, Steven Seagal has been appointed Special Ambassador for Humanitarian Relations between the United States and Russia. It was even recently reported that he has opened a training center to teach martial arts to Russian conscripts and military personnel. And although no one knows exactly how much his fortune is worth, some sources estimate that Steven Seagal has currently accumulated a net worth of around $25 million. Jean-Claude Van Damme, for his part, has also made a lot of money. Most of his fortune undoubtedly came from his performances in films from the 90s, which were responsible for him becoming a world-famous figure. But things have not always been so easy for Van Damme, considering that he started acting for a very low salary compared to what the actor receives today. With 1988's Bloodsport being his first successful film, for example, he earned a mere $25,000, an extremely low figure compared to the amount collected at the box office. His salary only started to rise in the 1990s, when his name started to become more and more known in the film industry. To get an idea of the figures, it is estimated that he received about $600,000 for Double Impact, $1,500,000 for Universal Soldier, $3,500,000 for Hard Target, $5,000,000 for Time Cop, $5,000,000 for Sudden Death, and up to $8,000,000 for Street Fighter. Throughout his career, Van Damme appeared in more than 50 films, which probably earned him a lot of money. And although no one really knows the true size of the actor's wealth, it is estimated that today Jean-Claude Van Damme at the peak of his 61 years of age has already amassed a net worth of approximately $50 million. And because he has a bigger fortune than his opponent, Van Damme wins this last round. At the end of this fight, we have two points for Steven Seagal against five points for Jean-Claude Van Damme, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.